<laughs> What's up, guys? We're here today. Uh, we're right, back we're, with the no, snacks. No, I'm going to change. I got this. I got this. I got this. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back with the snacks. My name is Quentin. My name is Ashley for all the new subscribers. If y'all didn't know. That's what I was going to say. You're supposed to say it first. All right. What's up, guys? We're back with the snacks for all the new subscribers. My name is Quentin. My name is Ashley. And today we will be doing a snack crate based on... What was it? Brazil. Exactly. Based on Brazil. We're flying out to Brazil. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. America. Who's being here? That is the continent. I think we should do this over because because you is terrible with these a few inches later what's up guys <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys we're back with another snack crate video my name is Quentin for all the new subscribers and my name is Ashley and today we will be taking a trip to Brazil okay go ahead you can do this stuff all right this is how it comes Brazil and this is our snacks up here. Snacky snacks. We got a few of them. So we're going to try to remember to rate them as we go because we always forget. So, yeah, you can pick the snacks. And I'll look the sign to rate. So I'm listening in Spanish. I ain't going to pronounce nothing right. You'll be all right. Fun fact. Brazil has been the largest produce of coffee in the world for the past 50 years. Brazil has the largest Japanese community outside of Japan with about 1.5 million Brazilian Japanese citizens living there today. Whoa, that's interesting. Can you that's like see that one This is why I picked the, this stuff because he's over here reading it instead of just picking something. Right, let's go. This extra oil. Let's get this out of the way. This is gonna be nasty. I don't know. It says it's right there. I thought you knew it. I don't. I'm not from Brazil. Spanish, right? Where, if Brazil does side. speak Spanish, I still don't know what that says. So, anyways. It says, you'll never want a regular Oreo again. Delicious chocolate, chocolatey layers of wafers coated in white chocolate. White chocolate is nasty. Dang. I'm dead. Don't worry about it. Can you find me? This is an Oreo. It tastes like cookies and cream. Kind of. Pretty good. The after like taste. I don't like, but it tastes good. They find me. Didn't you say we have one of these out here? Or something like that? Similar? Similar. Okay, so what you rate it before we forget mm -hmm. once again? It ain't 24 7 thing to me, so it will be. How would it go out there? Sir, if it was just to right, buy right, right, it, right, he's like, over, a, overthinking it. A 3 out of 10. Jeez, Louise, this is why I don't rate it. Because think about if he goes out there and if he doesn't <laughs> go out there, you're not out there. If you were able to just buy it. I'm not taking that to heart. Two of them. Oh, yeah. These unique turtle-shaped chocolates are perfect for when you need a little something sweet. We have included either the classic, I don't know what that says in Spanish or whatever it is that they have, or vanilla cream flavors. Why do you keep on saying Spanish? I don't know if they're Spanish because I'm trying to remember. They're Brazilian. Yeah, so I'm trying to talk about what they speak. Brazilian language. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The classic. Anyways, we got a classic and the other one. The classic mm. or vanilla cream flavor. Which one would it be the classic? Which one would be vanilla cream flavor? I would believe this is vanilla. Okay, classic. The world may never know. Yeah, so right we're going to. white. Hmm? Vanilla. Vanilla cream, white. There you go. Oh, whatever. So we're going to try these little turtle looking things. Oh, look, it's taped like a little turtle. <laughs> you eat the head. I 
I like this. I don't like nothing. It tastes like something. Can't really think of what it tastes like right now. I give it a a hard four. <laughs> I'll give it a five. It tastes better than that Oreo. He's a hater. We're gonna try what's the other one taste like? Vanilla. I guess it's the classic. That's just the classic one. It has chocolate inside. I guess. I am gonna try to pronounce that Spanish or some word. You keep on saying Spanish. You don't even know what they speak. I don't. Just I say Spanish. Oh snap, yeah. Oh it's sprinkles inside. And it looks like caramel. I don't know what you see. It's caramel? Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, I think this one is better than that one. Yeah. I give this a five. Five point five. Six point five. He's just a hater. He's wanna up one up someone. No. This is better. It tastes good to me. Let's see. I'm gonna do these Trentos, Trento bites. It says these crisp, little crisp. These crisp wafers are exploding with chocolate inside and outside. And they have a rich chocolatey filling. And Kobe. Oh, well, I'll tell you, that's, that's supposed to be milk. Sir, I don't speak what they speak. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. <sighs> 13 years later. Eventually. It's already open here. Yeah, 13 years later. I said 30, not 13. Back up. They look like the chocolate covered raisins. I don't like them. I said one of them is gonna mine us a, a whopper. Here's this one, right? It tastes better than a whopper, though. I don't know. It tastes alright. I don't really like it. Probably like a five. He's forcing these ratings. It was better than South African so far. Oops. Look at you. That's what talking nonsense. The truth. Is it the same thing? I think so. What? He's, they put two of yeah. the same thing. The original? The original. Paquito? Paquito? Something like that. The most beloved peanut butter candy in all of Brazil. Small in size, but big in peanut butter flavor. Like a Reese cup. Sounds good to me. Let's see, let's see. I can't open it. No, this is just a full, it looks like, wow. I'll this is all broke. peanut butter. Yeah. My thing is breaking. Let me find it. This is, it, you like it. This is like, just the inside of the peanut of a Reese cup with no, no chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. A little bit towards the butterfinger almost. I give this a straight one. I give it an eight. See, he's forcing these ratings. Who just sits there and munch up? People. Crunchy bites and blast with cheesy flavors. These crispy cracker snacks will keep the will keep you going back for more and more. I guess they cheese crackers. That almost like pizza rolls in the kitchen. You see, they say sabon, but then that's something else, and that says queso. You said they look like pizza rolls. Right there. Almost like pizza rolls. I should get another square ones right there. It must taste good. I'm just munching away. <laughs> I have to wait, just like, it, it loses flavor. 
It tastes good, and then it, like it loses flavor. It tastes like a straight cracker. It's dirty have flavor now. That's why they say you're going to keep on going back and back for more. <laughs> so let's see. Let's read another fun fact. It says, an environmental crime on Sundays and holidays is aggravate, what? aggravating factors. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah. Brazil has been the largest producer of coffee in the... I said that already. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's how you know he don't listen. Don't listen, guys. It says Quimada. I think that's how you say it. Grande Island is the deadliest place on Earth. It has about 45 venomous snakes per 325 feet. I'm going to be I won't take one trip over there now. They say Brazil is um, a high-rated crime thing anyways. So, um, I don't even know. Well, this is the last thing. It's called Ruffles Chirisco. Chirisco. These crunchy potato chips are flavored like savory Brazilian-style barbecue. They are seriously finger-licking good. Finger-licking, finger-licking good. <laughs> What's that from? Uh, KFC. <laughs> finger-licking, finger-licking good. That's all I've been waiting for. It's almost American now. Guys. Only gold mom people say that. The only American lies. Close to us. That's why people from. Oh. Not from the U.S. It's like cat food, though. No. <laughs> yeah, you was waiting for it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> they said like tuna fish. Oh, I'm not. Oh, well, I like tuna. No. But not no chip. It. It don't smell like cat food. Smell it. Sniff. Sniff her. <laughs> cat food is. You know what cat food is? Some of them tuna fish and stuff like that. That's just, let me see. It don't taste like tuna. It tastes like the smokiness when you barbecue something. When you a go to a barbecue bit. and then you cover it and like the smokiness of it, that's what it tastes like. He's talking about a little bit tuna. tuna fish. It's because he only eats chicken tenders and french fries and hot dogs and hamburgers at barbecues. So he would have never know. <laughs> I didn't know chicken tenders and french fries was at a barbecue. No, I said hot dogs and burgers at a barbecue. I eat cheeseburgers. Oh, that's that white. Hot dogs and barbecue. <laughs> we all messed up. I said hot dogs and barbecue at a barbecue. <laughs> I'm asleep. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? There's someone else that tastes nasty. It does taste nasty, though. But it don't taste like no tuna. But that's it for the snacks. That's we didn't rate it yet. Yeah, we oh yeah we didn't rate it, but that, I'm saying that's it for the snacks. That's all the snacks we have. Even though they have like so much more things that they didn't send to us. But what you rate it? You don't like it, so that one's a zero. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's not like. Probably a one. So far, that candy was better than anything. Yeah, but we only got one. Oh, we only got one bag of chips. So that feeling sounded good, though. It says Brazil is the largest country in both South America and Latin America, as the world's fifth largest country by both area and population. It is the largest country to have Portuguese as an official language. There we go. That's what they speak, Portuguese. And only, and and the only one in the Americas, bounded by the Atlantic Ocean on the east, Brazil has a coastline of four thousand four thousand six hundred and fifty five miles. It its Amazon River includes a vast tropical forest. Yep, says they skip. It has more stuff, but who's gonna sit there and read all that? I was giving you some fun facts about Brazil. And we figured out what they speak, Portuguese. So yeah. So we hope that you enjoyed this little snack crate review of Brazil. Brazil. Oh, so sunny. Brazil. And if you like um watching these types of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.
comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.